It's like looking at you and saying, if you want to get paid in full, you need to sleep with me. If you want to get your salary, you need to sleep with me. If you want to keep your job, you need to slay. Hey guys, how are you doing? It's a girl V Moti and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A warm welcome back to my dearest friend. Hi, I hope you guys remember me. I'm Winnie. <laughs> yes, this is Winnie. And in this episode, we wanted to talk about being black in Turkey or being black in Cyprus. And if you want to hear more about this, our experiences and general information about this, stay tuned for more. We'll be right back. any of my videos i'd like to say thank you so much for watching my youtube video remember to like subscribe and comment and if you're coming back to my channel welcome back welcome back to the family <laughs> Number one is just that the elder generation is a bit more conservative when it comes to accepting the black people, the black culture. So especially the young black people. Exactly, especially the young black people. Yeah. So those your gogos and sukurus, they're a bit more and I'm sad to say this, but a bit more racist, you know, to the younger black and generation. And point number two, guys, is it's actually hard for you to actually find a decent job mm -hmm. in Cyprus or in Turkey. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's actually worse in Cyprus because you all know how Cyprus is. <laughs> the weather, conditions, right. and actually pay. Yeah. You're not paid enough for the work that you do. And tip three is just to add on to what she just said. Like, you actually need to learn Turkish in order to get a proper job or anything that could possibly make sense because if, yeah, if you can't speak in Turkish, don't expect yourself to be like having a degree in banking and finance and working in a bank. It just doesn't work that way. Like, language is actually a barrier. Yeah. So you have to learn their language for you to actually assess most of the things. Yeah. Like, for me, I studied nursing. Mm -hmm. Like, we're actually told most of the times, learn Turkish, learn how to speak Turkish mm -hmm. if you want to be in our hospitals, if you want to actually attend to our patients and mm. stuff. So it's kind of hard. There are some people with, who have got strong tongues. I've got a very strong tongue. Mm -hmm. And so, they barely talk. <laughs> so it's sometimes hard to learn a new language like from scratch. Yeah, like I get you. We really point number four, women are viewed as sexual objects. Yes. Oh yes, uh, it's absolutely really, really, really bad. Hey, like you you be in a taxi, right? Or you be in okay, I wouldn't say too much, that's kinda like a bus, but like you'd be in a taxi, right? And then or let's say auto stop. Yeah. No misa mota. You'd be on an auto stop and then this man like, you know, is Just revealing exactly himself. out his Yeah. <laughs> guys like it's really really awkward very awkward in that situation you have one you're traumatized you don't right. know what to do first the car is moving should i just open the door what if you get jump hurt out? right what should i even say please can you please stop what they're doing they're saying ficky 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 <laughs> it's just so <laughs> It's really bad. Like you can even get people like you get into a car, right? And then they'll be asking you, so how much for you know? How sex. much should I pay? For and I'm just like, day? exactly. Or he'll be like, can you? Can I be your friend? And then can you come to my house later on? And I'm thinking, what type of a friend wants me to go to his house at 9 p.m.? And it's an old man. It's, it's not old, even like someone my age. And old old old. Imagine. <laughs> Nah, it's just ish. it's intense. Like it's women really intense. are viewed, are really, really viewed as sex objects, and it's really it's unattractive. It's 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 a hustle being in Turkey and Cyprus because you just have to be very streetwise and careful at any given time. And point number five just goes back and hand in hand with point number four. Like in the event that you do actually get a job, right? There's high chances of the boss or someone in authority at the, the workplace manager. or the manager, yes, yeah. like looking at you and saying, If you want to get paid in full, you need to sleep with me. If you want to get your salary, you need to sleep with me. If you want to keep your job, you need to, like, oh, if you want to earn more money, you have to sleep with right? me, right? Or even if you're due for a promotion, maybe you've been working there for a very, very long time, 
um, and you know new people are coming in and because you're black maybe this person that's coming in is not black but that person is likely to get the job uh, just because of their skin color mm -hmm. but for you if you've been working there for a long time and you're due for a promotion you can't get that promotion unless you sleep with someone so it's just ah, it's hectic like they you need really, grace they really like this sleepy sleepy they really yeah. do they really do like I, don't, I think it's a misconception, a stereotype, what they have been told, what they may have watched. I don't what know they what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Because I feel like people don't act the way they act until they're exposed to actually that is act so the true. way they want so to true. act. So true. So maybe past experiences they may have heard about or seen or something along those lines could make them think that all black females are like that. Mm -hmm. Point so, number yeah. six. Dressing, dressing, dress. It's so hard to wear anything you like in Cyprus because yeah. all these perverts they tend to go after you. What I'm basically trying to say is, I can be wearing my shorts. A Turkish man can just approach me, try and give me a job offer because my buns are looking nice. That is so true. Point number seven is just that there's so much favoritism in the workplaces, you know, and it's really difficult for you to get favor. You like you literally really need God's grace and God's favor exactly. in order for you to just be a black lady, do your thing without even harassing you. You know, and, it, and it point number eight, there's no one to report to. Mm -hmm. You can actually be sexually assaulted, go to the police station. They might not even help you with anything because I think they actually think we are the one who causes. I think so too. The problem, yeah, the assault. you just need to get your papers in check because there's so much fear of being deported <laughs> number 10 discrimination against black due to the increased crime rates in cyprus mm -hmm. i feel like black people are viewed as people who actually i don't know but <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> actually viewed as criminals to the extent that any little thing that happens uh -huh. i don't actually blame them because most black people are actually involved in plenty plenty things that's true though but at the same time i don't feel like you have to discriminate yeah us and because, stereotype yeah do you feel do you feel because <laughs> even like if you're trying to get a house sometimes people literally they would ask you where are you from okay exactly. you're african obviously which part of africa are you part from because if you're from specific countries not mentioned it's no -no. but it's a no-no some it's places no -no. it's really hard to get a place a, a, a house or somewhere to stay because just because of your nationality and it's kind of sad then and um, because they assume every african is rich because you flew from your country rent is actually more expensive for black people I, I and i mean this in the nicest way honest way possible because when a turkish person wants to rent a house they one will pay in turkish lira number two the rates that they're using are not as high as when you make me pay in pounds or make me pay in us dollar or euro just so that i can have accommodation and then turkish people do, some of them not all of them some of them do not pay like no. six months down or one year they down but money. literally uh, landlords will be like you know you need to pay for six months you pay two deposits you need to pay a commission obviously commission is for the agent who's happy to find the house but it's kind of it's it's crazy like if you actually talk to a turkish person who would tell you the truth most of them do not pay rent the way you know we like pay rent point number 12 mm -hmm. you can be driving anyway mm -hmm. police can just stop you That's ask it. you for a driver's license for your student permit if you're a student or anything that you're you, anything that you're using to be in that country uh -huh. legal, you just have to like provide and you don't have a choice because they'll say sorry my friend passport <laughs> and just imagine that <laughs> just imagine the situation whereby you don't carry your passport anyway right and you just have to open your student portal to show them okay fine you're a student which university yeah. and all it's just kind of stressful to you know carry on with your day mm -hmm. without anyone actually so generally you. yeah it, my own personal experience you should actually go and watch my video 
which says how not to get trafficked in a foreign land. I'll put the card up there, link it, link it, and you can check it out because that was just one of my many experiences, um, you know, in Cyprus. Uh, ish, yeah, it was scary. Ish, it was scary. It was really scary, but then you know, God came through. But I know, like, I have a couple of friends who have faced these challenges, like at workplaces. Yeah. Um, not getting salaries because you refuse to sleep with the boss, uh, losing jobs because you refuse to sleep with the boss, driving and being stopped just because you're black and them harassing you. Where's your passport? Where's your driver's license? Where's your registration for your car? I'm, I mean, I know you're supposed to have these things, but I can't really be traveling with my passport in my car. What if you get jacked? Exactly. Like, and then you lose your passport. Imagine. Your yeah. I know, right? So. We both know you don't want to be stuck here. I'm sorry. <laughs> guys and do you have experiences i personally i don't have any experiences when it comes to the you know being sexually harassed mm-hmm. or stuff because i don't give anyone that chance <laughs> i will never give anyone that chance to yeah, do it's good anything though. like that to me but i've got a friend a dear friend of mine she wants to experience something like that she actually was well, she was actually traumatized for some days Trust me, it's not something nice or something good or something, you know, exciting, exciting or pleasant to experience. To experience because yeah. there are people who actually take days to get over that kind of experience yeah, in life. It's true. not, it's not normal. I think it's unique. <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> you know, we made it through our experiences, we made it through our journeys and stuff. And I'll just advise, like, you know, young girls young black girls to be very careful or just stop this guys be careful it's a no no it's a no just, like just rather take money, money for, tax, yes. or for taxi or mm. something even though the taxes sometimes act that way yes but at least have money for taxi you don't have to be in the middle of the road or in the middle of the night in the road right yeah. looking for auto stop obviously the first thing they'll come in mind is sex meat of which you yes. don't want to be part of that, that so let's so just true. be careful mm-hmm. and please don't forget i will be wanting to say this <laughs> please don't forget hand sanitizer is your friend it's your friend it's your friend <laughs> <laughs> i've been wanting to say <laughs> oh. yes hand sanitizer is your friend remember to wash your hands thoroughly moisturize all the good stuff remember to like subscribe and comment let us know if you have any experiences let us know uh, what your experiences in your country would have been down below and we're looking forward to hearing all about it thank you so much for watching our youtube video i hope you enjoyed and yeah see you in our next video what do you feel i feel you gotta do what you gotta do you know it is what it is